Hi, I'm John with the Phoenix Society of Historical Swordsmanship. Here I have Absolute Forces Sparring Helmet, I believe they call it. Um, it has these protective wings, they're supposed to protect your collarbone and shoulders. The thing I was really interested in is back of the head protection. Uh, your standard fencing mask literally is just open, and that's my big fear is getting hit in the back head of the back of the neck, and there's not a lot of padding there. Um, it's a good helmet, it gets a little warm compared to a mesh helmet because of this padding, which does take a little shock out of the blow. Um, goes on like this. Does a good job protecting. I have a shorter neck, so these flaps are just at an inconvenient spot for me. I think if I had a longer neck or a taller person, these wouldn't be such an issue. So I put these grommets in and then lace them back. It does a great job. Protects my neck on the sides really well. Protects the back of my head really well. I'm very happy with it. But just be advised that it's a little on the warm side. Uh, but we do live in Phoenix, Arizona, which is needlessly hot. Um, yeah, 100 bucks from Absolute Force. They're now making custom HEMA gear. And I'm very happy with it. I just wanted to show you real quick the modification I did. I just put standard steel grommets in. Um, and then you use paracord to braid it back together. Uh, this does a good job of giving you a little side of the head protection for those horrifying ear shots that will leave you stinging. And it does provide a nice little cover to where your shoulders come down. It's adjustable, so if you run to somebody who wants you know, to actually have these down, you literally just unthread it and they fall down to the sides. And I think it's a good compromise. Thank you. 